Today, you are going to turn Ozobot into a pollinator to demonstrate how animals help with pollination in an interactive flower garden. You will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, all three pages of the pollination garden activity sheets, crayons, colored pencils, scissors, tape, and a pencil. In today's lesson, you will use color codes to program your bot to mimic a pollinator. Then you will follow the sequence of your pollinator to identify the flowers that were pollinated and collect data. Did you know that animals help plants make other plants by moving pollen? These animals are called pollinators. Some common pollinators are bees, hummingbirds, butterflies, ladybugs, and bats. Flowers have a powder, typically yellow in color, called pollen. Pollen is used to make seeds in a process called pollination. The seeds will grow into buds or baby flowers. In order for pollination to occur, pollen must move from the stamen of one flower to the stigma of another. Since plants can't move, animals that eat pollen or drink nectar move the pollen from one plant to another as they continue to feed themselves. Let's create your interactive model. You will begin with the pollination garden map, containing multiple pathways for your bot to travel with 14 missing color codes. In the bottom left of the map is a color codes key to help you program your bot to act like a pollinator. The first missing color code will be the slow color code. The other missing color codes will be spin or win exit play again. I will use my color code markers to complete each sequence of empty boxes. Complete the pathways for your pollinator. Use the pollination guarded pieces sheet to help you make your map look more like a garden. Color the flowers using the primary colors, red, yellow, or blue. Make sure to use all three colors. After the flowers are colored, cut them out and tape or glue them onto your map near each spin code. Here's what the map looks like with the flowers added to it. Your turn to color your flowers red, yellow, or blue. Then cut each flower out and glue or tape it to a spin code on your map. When a pollinator takes pollen from one flower to another, a seed can form. Use the seeds to mark which flowers were pollinated as your bot travels by the flower. Look at the garden pieces sheet and cut out the seeds. Next, choose what animal or pollinator your bot is going to act like and create a costume to match. Some pollinators are bees, hummingbirds, butterflies, ladybugs, or bats. Design the costume and cut it out. Tape it around Ozobot. Cut out the seeds, design a costume, and dress your bot. Your garden map is complete and your pollinator bot is ready. It's time to test out your model. Put your pollinator on start. Watch your pollinator move to different flowers in the garden to see which flowers get pollinated. First, my pollinator moved to the blue flower and spun. This is where my pollinator picked up the pollen. Next, it moved to the blue flower and spun. At the second flower, a seed can be made. So I will put a seed on this flower. Then my pollinator moved to a red flower. Again, a seed can be made. So I will put a seed on this flower. Since the paths your bot is traveling along are made of intersecting lines and you have not programmed your bot to move in a certain direction, your bot will randomly choose to turn left, turn right, or move straight. This means each time you run your pollinator from start, it will visit a different number of flowers. Test your model by putting your pollinator on start and place seeds onto the flowers your animal pollinates. Remember, the first flower does not get pollinated because this is where the animal collects the pollen. Now use your model to collect information about the flowers that are pollinated. Look at the pollination garden data sheet. Run your pollinator bot two more times. Complete trip one first. Here's the data from an example first trip. First, the bot went to a red color, so I colored flower one red. Next, it moved to the blue flower, so I colored flower two blue. Then, it moved to a blue flower, so I colored flower three 
blue. Finally, it moved to a yellow flower, so I colored flower four yellow. After I knew the sequence or order my bot traveled, I was able to complete each row. After trip one was complete, I put the pollinator back on start to see which flowers it would travel to next. During trip two, the pollinator moved in a different sequence. Ozobot first went to a yellow flower, next to a blue flower, then to a red flower, followed by a yellow flower, and finally to a blue flower. Put your bot on start and complete the pollinator trip one chart to track the sequence of flowers your animal visited. Then put your bot on start again and complete the pollinator trip two chart. Now you can analyze or look at your data to have fun with colors and make predictions. At the bottom of your pollination garden data sheet is a color key that shows when primary colors are mixed together, a new secondary color is made. Use this key to predict what colors the baby flower or buds in your garden will be after the seeds grow. In the example trip one data chart, the first flower visited was red and the second flower visited was blue. We can predict that the bud would be purple using the color key. Use the color key to predict the color of buds in your garden. Finally, use your math skills to answer questions that summarize your data. Use the trip one and trip two data charts to answer three questions. How many flowers are pollinated in all? Which color would the most buds be? Which color would the least buds be? After your interactive model and data are complete, share your model and data with your teacher, a relative, or a friend. Can you find all three totals to summarize your data? Remember to check your work. Your map should have 14 completed color codes and 10 flowers, one near each spin code. Your data should show the sequence of two trips your bot took around the garden, the predictions about the color of new buds, the total number of flowers pollinated, and buds made. Your work should show an interactive model of how animals help with pollination.